welcome to Lifestyle Pioneers, Mapping Entrepreneurial Adventures. My name is Jean Boniface. I'm with Springboard Northwest. And with me is Christina Ender of LiveWell Studios and Productivity HQ. We are your hosts. Christina and I are curious about people who successfully follow their bliss and earn a living doing so. So our program is, in, in our program, we bring together people that we see doing just that. People have turned their backs on a life of what's expected, the comfort of that life, in favor of an in, inner yearning, which heads them out across the landscape, seeking something that is meaningful and purposeful. And in doing so, not having any idea where they'd end up, and risking everything to get there. So Christina, will you introduce us to our first lifestyle pioneer? I will, thank you, Jean. Our guest today is Tara Rodden Robinson. Tara is a professional coach, author, and educator. She works with entrepreneurs, business owners, and leaders, helping them to focus on the significant over the urgent. And this work has earned her the title of the productivity maven. Mm -hmm. She holds a PhD in biology, received training through Mentor Coach, and is accredited by the International Coaching Federation. Her first book, 40 Days Forward, Your Journey to a Life of Abundance and Meaning, publishes later this month. Tara, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Christina. I'd like to begin our conversation by uh, exploring a quote by Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell stated in The Power of Myth, if you follow your bliss, you put yourself on a kind of track that has been there all the while, waiting for you, and the life that you ought to be living is the one you are living. How does this land for you? Well, I love that quote. Um, it makes me think of a lot of different things, but um, one of the things it reminds me of is that when I made my first career change, I've gone through two career changes. Um, at the beginning of that first career change, I was reading Joseph Campbell's Power of Myth. And it kind of reassured me that there was this, uh, there was, there was that possibility of reaching the destination that I kind of imagined might be out there. Um, it kind of gave me some reassurance that while it kind of felt like I was jumping off a cliff to change my life really dramatically, that uh, the the place that I was going to get to from that jump was was worth the risk and worth the effort. So where were you in that moment? What were you doing? What what did your life give us a little synopsis of your life at that time? Sure. So my bachelor's degree is in nursing. Um, I was working as a surgical nurse, and I had a very deep interest in birds. And so I actually started um, doing bird watching and going on bird watching tours, and that's actually how I ended up realizing that I didn't have to be a nurse for the rest of my life. I could actually um, study birds. And I was deeply interested in tropical rainforests, even though I had never been to one. I was living in North Louisiana, so that's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Um, I went on vacation to Costa Rica, found this unbelievable rainforest reserve called Rara Avis, and knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was supposed to live there and work there, and that that was where I was supposed to be. So I went back to the States, uh, quit my job, bought a plane ticket, and went back. Where did that certainty come from? Wow, that's a great question. Where does, you know, St. Ignatius writes about clarity of beyond doubting. There are these moments during which you receive what some people refer to as infused knowledge. At least Catholic writers would refer to it as infused knowledge. And that, I, you know, to me, that's a divine, sacred moment. I think that's a gift. That's a grace moment. And you had that moment in the tropical environment. Yeah, I had, I had that moment in the tropical rainforest in the middle of nowhere in Costa Rica. So, so you moved there, and then what happened? Uh, I spent six months there as a rainforest naturalist guide, meeting incredible people, probably some of the finest tropical biologists in the world show up at this place. Uh, came back, studied for the GRE, got admitted to graduate school, so I ended up at the University of Illinois. And, you're, and you were headed toward what a was A PhD you? in biology okay, at that great. point. Mm -hmm. um, Met the love of my life, who's now my husband. We've been together for 18 years. And uh, I thought it, and really believed that I was on a, a track to become a tenure track professor in biology. That was, that was where I had aimed for. That was what I thought was sort of the pinnacle of, of that career change. 